Hi there, history fans. So today we have a video that was suggested by Discord members. And the video is called The Complete History of the Soviet Union Arranged to the Melody of Tetris. I don't know what to expect from this, but as the title says, and as some Discord members uh, talked about in the chat, uh, it's a song. So I don't know what to expect from this, but let's figure it out. As always, the link to the original video is going to be in the description below, as also the Discord, link to the Discord server. If you want to join, that would be great, but give the original creator a view and a like, uh, because uh, they definitely deserve it. So, okay, um, as always, I'm going to give my thoughts, opinions, additional information that maybe I know. If you want to correct me or some, on something, add something, whatever, uh, just let me know in the comment section below. Okay, let's jump into the video. Uh, tell me if you would like to visit one day Russia, I don't know, Moscow or St. Petersburg, but this church... Is this, is this Rasputin? <laughs> That's Rasputin. <laughs> okay, so we're talking, he's still in the Tsar era. But this, this church that is, you know, like an icon of Moscow, it's called Vasily the Blessed. Pretty great church, but I would like to visit Moscow once or, you know, like Russia and especially St. Petersburg, not only because, you know, like of the historical value, but there are also a lot of old buildings which survived, you know, like horrific times, uh, you know, like uh, revolutions and wars and so on. So tell me if you would like also to visit Russia one day. I'm really interested. Lenin. Okay, okay. The thing is, with the pre-revolutionary Russia, uh, I think 80 or 90 percent of the people were not literate, so illiterate. Um, they were mostly farmers or, you know, like working on, on land. And Russia wasn't that industrialized before the revolution. And a lot of people actually thought that, and Marx himself, thought that uh, the revolution will actually start in an industrial state like Germany or Great Britain. And everybody was shocked when the revolution started in Russia because nobody expected it. And uh, Tsar Nicholas II, you know, like he wasn't that loved by his citizens especially after, after the Russo-Japanese war where Russia was defeated by the Japanese in 1905. But uh, yeah, he wasn't that loved. And there were already unrests before the actual revolution started before, from that we know. So there, there were also, you know, like riots and uprisings throughout Russia uh, before the actual revolution happened. So throughout the eyes of a humble worker. Okay. Okay. I am the man who arranges That's the really the music of that melody of Petrus. For me from up above They come down and I spin them around Till they fit in the ground like hand in glove Sometimes it seems that to move blocks is fine And the lines will be formed as they fall Then I see that I have misjudged it. I should not have nudged it after all. Can I have a long one, please? Why must these infernal blocks tease? <laughs> I am the man who arranges the blocks that continue. Go right, let the workers unite A collective regime of peace and love 
I work so hard in arranging the blocks. This is so great. Lord and taxman bleed me dry. But the workers will rise. We will not compromise. For we know that the old regime must die. Long live Lenin. Kill the Tsar. We salute the sickle and soul. Okay, so the revolution happened. Uh, the, the storm of the Winter Palace was maybe one or more iconic, you know, like uh, things that happened in, in the Russian Revolution, or maybe one of the most known things that happened in the Russian Revolution. But also the Tsar, Nicholas II, his children and his wife were also uh, killed by the revolutionaries. Um, but it, it's a fun fact that actually he wasn't the last Romanov. Uh, so, you know, like he had cousins and other relatives and as I, as far as I know, um, the Romanovs or parts of the family that, that were successful in escaping, they, they found exile in France and the last Romanov died in France in the 30s and he was called Kiral, Kirai, uh, or Kirill, Kirai, Kirill, I think is the, is the Russian uh, name. But yeah, some parts of the Romanov dynasty uh, survived and the revolution started or the idea of the revolution was, you know, like you have the capitalists or the ruling class, which is the bourgeoisie, they hold the means of production and uh, everything revolving, you know, like Marxism is uh, uh, essentially class warfare and you had one class, which is the ruling class which holds all the means of production which are called the bourgeoisie and then you had uh, the proletarians so the workers who don't own the means of production but all the profit that was made by the proletarians go actually in the pockets of the bourgeoisie so that's why he also referenced the bourgeoisie and how the people are uh, you know like unhappy and that they want a revolution and so on and actually at the beginning of the revolution people as far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I know, when the revolution started, people were, you know, like firmly behind the revolution. Yes, we are going to liberate ourselves of the old regime, the Tsars, which was a brutal era for the ordinary, you know, like worker or peasant in Russia. But, you know, like after some of the things that happened, especially uh, during Stalin's era, a lot of people were just like, no, this, this isn't the thing that we wanted. And the man who arranges the blocks that continue to fall from up above. This is so great. The food on your plate now belongs to the state, a collective regime of peace and love. I have no choice in arranging the blocks and the Bolshevik rule, what they say goes. The rule of the game is we all are the same, and my blocks must create unbroken rows. <laughs> Stalin, he <laughs> loves you. Sing these words, or you know what he'll do. I am the man who arranges the. Yeah, I mean, Stalin, he comes after Lenin. Uh, and, and the thing is, Lenin actually didn't want Stalin to be his successor. But as Lenin fell ill, um, Stalin grabbed, you know, like all the power. Stalin was actually already an influential uh, within the party, but he grabbed even more power behind the backs. And when Lenin died, Stalin had actually all the mechanisms behind him uh, that would give him, uh, you know, like the power to rise to the top. And of course, he repressed all the the his opponents, and we all know what he did. But yeah, of course. Gulags, we all all know about that. The blocks that are made by the men in Kazakhstan. They come two weeks late and they don't tessellate. <laughs> but we're working to Stalin's five-year plan. I am the man who arranges the tanks that will make all... Uh, the thing is, a lot of people forget that uh, the Soviet Union wasn't, you know, like only Russia and the European states. But the Soviet Union also had, you know, like the central... I, I don't know what the reference with Kazakhstan is. If there are any Russian people, let me know in the comment section what, what's with Kazakhstan. Uh, but, uh, you know, like all the Central uh, Asian uh, 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 states, countries, were also part of the Soviet Union. So you had Mongolia, you had Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Azerbaijan, 
uh, 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 and so on. All all this all the countries. So, but I, I don't know what's what's the reference with Kazakhstan. All the Nazis keep what, what 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 what? I'm the man who arranges the tanks that will make all the Nazis keep away. The Führer is dead and Europe is red. Let us point <laughs> all our guns at the USA. We what one? Let's let's pull all the guns to the USA. Yeah, the beginning of the Cold War. But during the Second World War, yeah, tank production in Russia it exploded i don't know they had like a four to one or five to one tanks or something ridiculous like that to the germans and the russians play of played of course a vital role in defeating the germans and they had you know like the most casualties and most atrocities that the germans did were on the eastern front uh, but yeah look up the historian called stephen kotkin american historian who researched about studying pretty great books pretty interesting guy look him up and of course, yeah, uh, Europe, Europe is red. Uh, uh, yeah, wherever the Soviet Union went through and liberated the countries from the Germans, they also installed, you know, like puppet states, puppet governments and so on. And after the Second World War, the Stalin promised, you know, like we're going to have free and fair elections in every country. No, didn't happen. Didn't happen. So, yeah. Red, let us point all our guns at the USA. Cold War. We shall live forevermore. We can start a nuclear war. <laughs> I am the man who arranges the blocks that are building a highly secret base. Hip hip hurrah for the USSR. We are sending our men to outer space. I work so hard in the ring. Yeah, but the military and the space race with the US, in the military race with the US, the Soviet economy couldn't support it. You know, like uh, they were, of course, the first ones who set a satellite in, in the in the atmosphere. So the Sputnik, the famous Sputnik, and also the Sputnik effect on the U.S. Uh, they were the first ones who sent a living being out of space, Laika the dog, uh, um, the first man Yuri Gagarin in space, and so on. Yeah, they they were advanced at the beginning. But, you know, like it had a big toll on social programs and social, what is it called, like welfare, state and so on. And they couldn't support it. So a lot of the workers, although they were like, yeah, we send a man to the moon. As far as I know, as far as I read the literature, a lot of people were like, yeah, we send a man to the moon and so on. But then they still in the back of their minds were asking themselves and also some publicly, but not that much because it was dangerous. But a lot of people were like, yeah, but, you know, like, I, I personally, as a person in my apartment, uh, in my work and what, I don't have anything from it. So, yeah. In the box, but each night I go home to my wife in tears. What's the point of it all when you're building a wall and in front of your eyes it disappears? Pointless work for pointless pay. This is one. Shall not play. I am the man who arranges the blocks. Is it done? Uh-huh. But tomorrow I think I'll stay in bed. The winter is cold. I've got plenty of gold. And I'm standing in line for a loaf of bread. Maybe we'd be better off if we brought down Gorbachev. <laughs> I am the man who arranges the blocks that continue to fall from up above. The buckets are free, so much money for me. Tell me why should I care for peace and love? The buckets are free, so much money for me. Tell me why should I care for peace and love? Is it done now? Ah, uh, no. Okay, so, so the thing is, Gorbachev, yeah, he with his uh, uh, perestroika and Klasnos, he wanted to uh, make reforms in the inside of the Soviet Union, so to make it more, you know, like economically viable. But he was a still a firm believer in the, in the Soviet Union and the causes of the Soviet Union. 
and you know like communism slash socialism marxism whatever you want to call it i don't want really don't want to go into the sem semantics but eventually yeltsin uh with the elections of 91 was the first president of russia and it, it i mean the dude was just funny i mean Oh, he was drunk all the time. Look at some of his, you know, like talks with, with you know, like foreign ministers and whatever. I think that there are probably also some videos uh, on, on YouTube. But he was like drunk and like, hey, hello, good man, whatever. It's funny. Look at him. Yeltsin drunk. Try, try, try to write down on YouTube something like that. Uh, but yeah, uh, when you give people, you know, like liberties and freedom, freedom and... Uh, you know like t the power to criticize the government you cannot take it's almost impossible to take it back and people then demand even more and more and more and uh, as somebody who comes from an let's call it ex-socialist communist marxist whatever titoist state whatever you want to call it so croatia or ex-yugoslavian country uh, a lot in the transition period to uh, the free market system um, a lot of the people who were you know like parts of the communist party or influential people people in in that time they also kept a lot of power political and economic power in their hands and uh, i think it's throughout eastern europe like that that's when i talk with people from you know like poland hungary serbia uh, bulgaria and so on so a lot of people say that a lot of the people who were in power back then still have power, economic and political power in their country still. But okay, let's see what... This is great. And this is great. the wall is down, the Marxists frown, there's foreign shops all over town. When in Red Square will don't despair, there's Levi's and McDonald's there. <laughs> what's more what's more american than mcdonald's maybe maybe burger king but i don't know mcdonald's and the thing is uh, there's an interesting book called uh, coca-cola socialism but it's on u.s so the western or u.s influence on yugoslavia which is was also communist slash socialist marxist whatever you want to call it state inside of europe it's a pretty interesting book uh, but yeah Gave us crystal meth and Yeltsin drank himself to death. But now Yeltsin. The put the boot in who get in our way. So we reject free enterprise and once again the left will rise. Prepare the flags to be unfurled because we're seceding from the world. <laughs> we shall regain. We shall obtain the Arctic ball. We shall arrange the blocks and toil forever and a day. Great. Great. Great video. A big thanks to my Discord members. This video was great. The song, the 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 you know like the lyrics, the video, everything was great. I, I I'm pretty happy because of our Discord community because they have, have always you know like great suggestions and they always surprise me with these kinds of su suggestions. Music by Pig with the face of a boy. That's probably the band. But yeah, okay. Um, if you want to be part of our community, just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I hope that you enjoyed it um, and uh, that you learned something new. As always, feel free to correct me, add something in the comment section if you have something interesting. And until next time, see ya.